Woods is there ahead of Dow. Record, and it's a floated one that Czerzniak can come and claim. And Czerzniak gets Dundee United moving quickly through Armstrong. Erskine, it's nicely put through by Erskine, and it's found its way to Chifchi. That's a simple task to put it into the back of the empty net. A quick counter-attack from Dundee United. Armstrong started it, Erskine with a through ball, and Quinn couldn't clear it. He got a touch on it, but it could only put the ball into the path of Nadia Chipchi, who scores his first goal away from Tanadice this season. Quinn was unfortunate, and Chipchi was there to capitalise. Cardle whipped in, and now it's with Erskine, and they've already punished Ross County once on the break. This is Butcher. Armstrong is the one most advanced for Dundee United. He's round the goalkeeper and tucks in the second. Jackie McNamara celebrates. It's 2-0 to Dundee United. Three minutes into the second half, and Armstrong is the second Dundee United player to round Mark Brown this evening. It was a perfectly weighted through ball from Callum Butcher. And Armstrong bursting forward past the goalkeeper and tucks it away. Tony Dingwall tracked by Ryan Dow. And forward, taken in by Boyce, but lost out to Butcher. Erskine through for Chifchi. He's goal side of Tosny. Can he finish? He certainly can. It's a double on the night for Nadia Chifchi. And Dundee United look home and dry at 3-0. And we've not even played an hour yet. Coolly finished off. And it's a second assist of the evening as well for Chris Erskine. Nadia Chifchi scores his seventh goal of the season. Toshny had a lot of ground to make up, and he couldn't. Jervis off the chest. Irvin just got there ahead of Connolly. Record. Oh, it's come off the head of Suter. And now Arkan, they've got to go back. Well, Johan Arkan has only been on the field for a couple of minutes. But he's got going quickly. Wasn't the best first touch, but the second was deadly. Suter's headed clearance didn't go the right way, and Arkan pounced. They've certainly battled well, the ten men. It could all be too late. This is Woods, though. Matson. Oh, Matson! Great finish. It's 3 2. Certainly a fighting finish from Ross County. But there just may not quite be enough time for them to get anything out of this contest. Seaborn. Carroll. He just took his eye off it. McGinnis, good skill from him to get past Carroll. McGinnis now, good ball in for Miller. Oh, and it breaks for Obadai. 11 minutes in, and Obadai makes it 1 0. Miller's first effort, then Odubai. O'Donnell was sleeping. Cregan runs over it. It's Bannigan. Seaborn is free. And the home side are level. Dan Seaborn, eight minutes after going behind, has got the equaliser. It's his first goal for Partick Thistle. Bannigan's cross, and Seaborn stooped. Kerr just turns back and he's closed down by Gudetti. Now Johansson's in. Stefan Johansson squared for Stokes. 1 0 Celtic. And we've only played six minutes. And it was so simple. After Fraser Kerr was almost caught, Ramsden wasn't aware of Johansson behind him. And Johansson was unselfish. After rounding the goalkeeper, he put it on a plate for Anthony Stokes, who scores for the eighth time in his last 12 visits 
to Far Park. It's certainly a ground he enjoys, and he has picked up his seventh goal of the season. Niall McGinn gives the signal, and it's attacked by two players at the back post, and one of them is Ash Taylor with a bullet header. McGinn's corner, and Taylor has his first league goal for the club. And that's given away by Hendry. It's Niall McGinn. Oh, that's quite brilliant from the Northern Irishman. What a finish to take advantage of Hendry's mistake. Well, it's Rooney to take it and smashed home by Adam Rooney. Only 55 minutes played, and Aberdeen have a three goal lead. Harkins. And there's Stewart arriving at the back post. Dundee lead midway through the first half. And it's the same route to goal that provided the opener against Aberdeen in the Cup. Harkins free kick and Stewart knocks it in. Tansy. It's off the challenge of Clarkson. Gets it back from Shinney. Vincent now. Still James Vincent skipping away from two or three challenges. Tansy into the feet of Marley Watkins, who manages to turn, slips it through to Vincent, and now the break of the ball comes away of Billy Mackay. And the ball ends up in the back of the net. Dundee are claiming a hand was used by Mackay. There was certainly a degree of fortune, a large slice of luck in the finish. But Billy Mackay will not care one bit. He has got Inverness level. Can Inverness make it six wins from the last eight games? Well, got some defending to do first. This is Tankalich. Clarkson now. In comes Raven. Christie. Good ball forward from Christie to Watkins as Inverness turned defence into attack. Watkins, Christie has continued his run. It's a brilliant finish from the youngster. And Inverness have sneaked the victory here at Dens. Two minutes to go. Watkins back to Christie, who started the entire move off. What a well guided finish that was. Easton will take the free kick. He's hanging in that strong wind. Miller touches it off, O'Halloran arriving! What a brilliant strike from Michael O'Halloran. That's five goals in his last five games.